What's up folks? How are you doing? This video I made was about setting up a VNC server on the Android phone and remote control it. Some of you... Uh, it's the most watched video and I get some likes on it. I appreciate everything I got on it. Thank you very much. And there is an interesting comment that caused me to make this video and I wanted to answer it in this video. If you follow the tutorial here and try to do it on your phone, you will see that you cannot use your computer's keyboard, which is going to be the VNC client. You cannot use the keyboard to type. It's not going to work. You can use the mouse to point or to tap on your Android phone, but you cannot use the keyboard. So, I'm going to try to discuss the possible solutions for this issue. Um, there is this thread on GitHub. It's probably related to the application that we're using as the VNC server on Android. And for the option of using the client's keyboard, it's called keyboard event handling. So there are some suggestions like an alternative VNC server, which is this one. I checked it myself. Let me say that it's a bad application. Don't get confused. Don't get deceived. The free option is very limited, only 10 minutes. If you're ready to pay, this can be a solution. Okay, I will put this in the description. There is a suggestion. This one is suggested app. I didn't try it, to be honest. And it can be the best solution. I'm not sure of it. And there is this one also. You can try one by one. And I'm sorry for this. Maybe in a future video I'm going to dem demonstrate that fully. Try to establish a VNC connection with the keyboard event handling. So you can use your keyboard on your laptop, which is where you remo uh, control remotely your phone. And you can use the keyboard without the need to use the phone's keyboard. There is also this suggestion about use uh, it requires using ADB. Probably it's I don't know what they mean exactly here. I mean I'm not sure but probably it's using ADB through Wi-Fi since this VNC is going to be through Wi-Fi. There is also another suggestion which is Wi-Fi keyboard but some people here said that it didn't work for them and this guy says it's last updated in to, uh, 2013 which is a long time ago 11 years ago from the time of recording this video um, so there is also this suggestion but here it says this user says that it requires the user to know how to send intents which is the application is called ADB keyboard yeah so you can download the APK the other ones may exist in Play Store or F-Droid like this and this one also alright I guess for Droid VNC, it doesn't support this option natively. It doesn't support it. There is also this one, I don't know. And they talk about IME, I'm not familiar with it. I believe th there should be a future video where I do a demonstration for this. I cannot promise, but I hope I do it one day. So, yeah, I hope these solutions 
one of them or most of them work for our friend. Uh, there is also another option which is he said he uses Android on Raspberry Pi if the options that or the functionalities that he's looking for are available on other operating systems he may uh, move to them and try them like a Linux distribution let's say Raspberry Pi OS he's free of course to use whichever operating system on his device that's there is nothing wrong with it but just in case in case he is unable to find those functionalities on any Linux distribution he may need to try one of these I myself I may try them and then I can demonstrate it maybe yeah so for this one the last post was funding for implementing this option on the application Droid VNC as I guess here yeah so yeah they are trying to fund to overcome this issue as you can see here and if we look at the date it's something very recent it's in December the 25th 2023 so it's about uh, two months ago from the date of this video I guess uh, that's it for this video there is much more coming in the future stay tuned make sure you subscribe like share and comment thank you for watching and cheers